that's why I'm trying to organize my stuff. And why I wanted to do this video is like to talk also about what are some of the benefits of organizing your work, like what projects you're prioritizing, you're putting front center and working on and what are the benefits as I said, what are the benefits on working on multiple projects. And for me, it's like I realize if I'm working on thrillers, for example, or like darker novels, um, it's a, it's different kind of work. And recently, I started working on the kids' stories, and they made me really like joyful and feel like a kid. And, and I began, I, I published that story, Passion the Blue Bicycle, because I just wanted. I wanted something for kids and I wanted to share it with everyone because the, the fiction I write is not for everyone definitely. It's, yeah, if you've read it or if, even if you haven't, uh, maybe you've heard me talk about it in the videos I've posted on my channel. It's, it's, it's not for everyone. It's a mixed uh, bunch of stuff that happens in my novel, although it's a, it's a brief novel. It's about 42,000 words in English and the French version has about 48,000 words <laughs> and in the print it's going to be 5 by 8 and it's going to have 358 pages so it's going to look quite like I'll show it like the Dean Coons this is a little bit smaller I think in size the format I mean but it's about 400 pages yeah it's over 400 pages so yeah I'm looking forward yeah if you want to see the difference mine is very short <laughs> the english version anyway so um and oh i just remembered what i did for the english version i updated for the ebook cover in for the ebook anyway i uh, updated the, the book covers just because i made it for the french cover i made it a little bit more greenish to give it a more thriller vibe more suspenseful um vibes so yeah I just feel it's more appropriate because the initial cover felt more like sweet romance and it's not that's not what my novel is about although it has sweet moments and stuff like that it also has dead people skulls and yeah all sorts of stuff complicated intrigue and stuff like that um but yeah so the benefits of working on multiple projects is that you can take blocks of time and while you're working on a on thrillers or you know not more serious stuff because kids books can be very serious but the kids book a story for a kid is is more childish you have to access a different part of your brain so it just it's helpful if you're writing fiction non-fiction um stories stories in different genres and for different age groups as well. Um, I find it it's very helpful because it, it keeps your mind fresh in a way and it's not like you're st not stuck because stuck is a bad word. It, I, it has bad implications. It's, it's a different way of looking at project so if you get tired of working on something or as I am doing I'm waiting for illustrations to be done I can't really work on that particular story but I can work on more obviously I can write more kids stories uh, but as I said if I'm waiting for illustrations to be done because the, the, the story has been written and it's ready I can work on other stuff like working on my non-fiction book which I, as I said I'm planning to make to give my full attention from yeah, from this week, yeah, uh, from next week. So it's, I think it's a great thing to have several projects. Um, just make sure you, I was thinking also when I was in the list, I, I made sure, I, I made this note, pri I said prioritize the projects and make sure you do not start all of them, work on all of them and you have none at the end of the year. I have none pro pro published and that is, a, I think it's a very valid point. You want to make sure you start, you have, you have the, all these projects in your mind, but you start with one that's the most important. Once you've done that one, you go to the next one. 
and now not to say that my non-fiction book is not important actually i think it's one of the most important books that i think is going to touch more people than my other stuff in a way just because not even though it's fiction but you know or that kind of fiction that i write uh, but non-fiction because this book is very very helpful i think for lots of people it's going to be therapy and advice and if in the worst case scenario if it doesn't help anyone it's going to help at least one person and that's me because it's going to help me write more books from now on because i will have a as I said, I'm not, not the best organizer, so that book will help me be more organized because I will have all these things that I've done previously. I have them in this book, so I don't have to like look for them in my mind. It's something. It's going to be something tangible. Um, so yeah, that project is very important. And sometimes because, uh, as I said, you're prioritizing project because I'm not prior, I wasn't prioritizing that project at the beginning of this week. It did, that doesn't mean the project is not important. It's, um, you have to think how you're prioritizing them. Obviously, the French version was done. All I had to do was format it and wait for the translator notes. So I formatted it and it's done. Like at the end of the week, it's done. It can be made available on Amazon and I also post, uh, published it on Publish Drive. I'm just waiting for it to be approved. So that was that that's done but the other one because the non-fiction book is still being written and still being put together it's going to take longer so in many ways that's the one of the most important projects i have in my life at the moment um, but because it's not finished i wanted to get the other stuff out just so i have i clear my space you know <laughs> of other things that are there and they're like done but they're not like out there i hope it makes sense i've repeated myself but you know trying to make a point here um so uh just want to quickly have a look um if there's any other things i wanted to mention but uh yeah i also wanted to mention that i am looking to work with illustrators um I have someone who's illustrating my book, my short story for now, but I don't know if she will be interested to do more. I am looking for someone to work like long term and maybe like, I don't know, split royalties, maybe have an illustrator and I'll be providing like, I'll be doing the writing, the other person doing the illustrations. And yeah, if I find someone to really connect with and someone I respect, I respect their work and their personality, I like them and they like me would be a good a good collaboration i would love to do that <laughs> um so yeah um what are the what for the videos like i said i'm not gonna post longer than 10 minutes videos but it's already 20 minutes but yeah i just wanted to get this out there because as i said i'm starting to work on the other project so i don't know how soon i will be posting videos and there's other stuff i have to take care of that personal stuff so, um, yeah, what are your tips? Uh, like, as, as you can notice, I'm not the most organized person. And if you have other tips, like how to organize your, uh, how do you organize your projects? If you're a writer, I know a writer who just um, is about to publish his 13th book, uh, J.D. Estrada, and please go check out him on J.D. Estrada. Um, he just released the cover uh, he did a cover re reveal yesterday of the book and I'm looking forward to interviews with him and other people. Um, so yeah, it's just like how people like 13 books already, I only have a few, you know, like non-fiction, fiction, stuff like that. So how do, you, do other people manage all these projects? Because, you know, it's like some people are so well organized, like Biblio, uh, the lady uh, Crystal from Biblio, uh, Biblio Atlas, check out her channel as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at being organized, but I'm trying my best. So, and ever since I got Scrivener a few years ago for working on novels, it's been much, much easier for me to write and organize. Um, I still don't use it to the full ability of the software, but if I had used Word, I would, it would just been a mess because my the way I put novels together is like a puzzle. So it just that would have taken longer, I think. 
it helps me to juggle and move chapters around or like diff yeah, different chapters on different books. Yeah. So let me have some tea. <laughs> By the way, this tea, it's, uh, I love peppermint tea and I was in the shop the other day and I found peppermint with nettle and the other day while I was formatting the book, I put a tea bag in and I, I forgot about it on the counter in the kitchen uh, and I, I went, I was like, oh, this is going to be better and I tasted a bit and it wasn't, so please try the uh, uh, a tea, uh, peppermint with nettle, it's very, has a really nice flavour, it's not overpowering minty or anything like that it's just very well balanced i really really put this up really really enjoy it so i might split this video i think that's what i'm gonna do because i also have to do the cover reveals for my non-fiction book because as i said it's gonna take a few more months to get it out there and yeah i want to share those covers with you so let's do this now <laughs> so what should i share with you first i'll share the cover that i designed for the kids books um, mirabella and the kingdom of trees i'll put it here hopefully <laughs> it's it's the one i designed for the ebook for now um because illustrations take longer so until i find someone to do them and to do them right um, it might take a while so and I, I want to put that story out for kids for Christmas because yeah I just think it's cute <laughs> so um, yeah that's the cover um, the cover for uh, To Chevelure with a French translation of my debut novel and then uh, translation done by Nicolas Belanger thank you so much Nicolas for working us uh, so hard and for so long on it uh, you give, you've given from your time um it's just like so much time <laughs> to work on it because there's a lot of stuff you have to do and yeah that's the french translation <laughs> the book cover and the paperback i might post the paperback as well um and now for the reveal of the non-fiction book simple way shortly because i tell you the long title i've said it before earlier in the video it's quite long but yeah you're just trying to explain everything what's going on in the book so yeah simple ways about how to, to be a writer how to put your work out there and get courage uh, get over self-doubt and just do what you really want to do um it's also not just for writers i think anyone who's like creative or wants to do something i think is very helpful because yeah, it has a lot of, like, it tells people, like, go for your dreams and goals, not just dreams. Don't keep your, like, dreams just dreams. Make them a reality and start bit by bit. Don't be overwhelmed. Try not to be overwhelmed by all these things you have to do. Take it step by step and you'll get there. It's going to take years. When I started this, I knew it was going to take years to make money. I'm barely making money even so I'm like enough money but I um, I said when I started like when I published my debut novel in 2017 in like September I said that I will um, in like about five years I will see proper growth so I'm looking forward to that thank you so much uh, for watching this video very very, <laughs> very long but yeah I hope it was helpful Please share your thoughts, please subscribe, like, share the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button so you get more notifications if I upload a new video. And yeah, I'm looking forward to connect with more people. I'm looking forward to reading poetry and stuff and writing my non-fiction book. I really have to do that project. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a, have a lovely afternoon. And take care of yourselves. Bye.